about a week ago, uh, pretty close to a week ago, I was asked to resign my position at Rock Springs High School. Uh, the reasons that I was asked to resign were uh, summed up in a letter after I chose not to do that. Uh, that letter says, failure to perform duties as, a, as assigned, including the failure to demonstrate the ability to ensure proper athletic eligibility of student athletes during the academic year. Uh, there was another one on there that said the failure to hold head coaches responsible when they perform unprofessionally or violate district policy. I'd like to have the opportunity to look you in the eye and to make a couple comments about those particular issues. I will tell you, as I told the Wyoming High School Activities Association, that one student changed classes and signed a document that said, if I do this, this might jeopardize my eligibility. Our counselor, who, who asked for that to be signed, through no fault of her own, did not inform me of that. Because I know of no system that allows us to catch that. That athlete competed in the 4x200 relay at the state track meet. I ran eligibility again at semester. What I discovered was that my first eligibility check was incorrect because the kid changed the class after I did it. Immediately, because of my family upbringing, because of my work ethic, I took responsibility for all of it. And I stand before you now and take responsibility for every bit of it. I judge my life by my character. And my character is more important than my circumstances. And because of that, I called the Wyoming High School Activities Association and reported that. After having done that, I spoke to Marge because I wanted to get better. I immediately asked the question, how could we have prevented that? She said, John, there isn't any way to prevent that. On Saturday, I spoke to Michael Piccolo. I asked him if he had ever made a mistake like that or been around a mistake like that. And he said, yes, he had. I'm willing to take the same consequences that Michael Piccolo suffered when he made the same mistake. I asked what the consequences were. He was not reprimanded. He was not written up. And he certainly was not non-renewed. I stand before you a person that has innovated many things in this district. By his own words, Michael Piccolo on Saturday said, you have involved 10 times the amount of the community in, in, in athletics than I ever have. He said, you have, you have performed things that we have never done in this district. With the help of our superintendent, we hired an athletic trainer, which was 20 years behind time. I stand before you a person who made a mistake on eligibility for one kid. We do eligibility weekly. If we use a low number of, of students, that number would be 300. If we use a low number of weeks that we've done eligibility, that would be 20. That's 6,000 incidences. One mistake. I would say to you, if that's the standard we hold ourselves to in this district, there are a lot of administrators and a lot of teachers here that will have a great deal of fear. Many of you don't know that I was at one time an AIDS educator. Bill Krause was an early activist that asked for fairness in the treatment of people with HIV and AIDS. His statement is, the problem lies not in evil personalities, or traitorous acts, but rather in the political orientation which believes that an oppressed group gets what it needs by being careful not to offend the powerful. The problem lies in the desire to protect the little that we have gotten by not risking a fight for what we deserve. And the problem lies in believing that we have got, that what we have gotten is somehow a favor given by politicians rather than the politician's recognition of what we have the political power to demand and to get. I am asking you to consider that. I am asking you as leaders of this community to consider what people in this community need. And I am thanking you for your time.